Good morning everyone, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna respond a lot of subscribers that got very common questions sometimes. And they ask me why when I stretch my pizza it bounces back. So the reason there are few. So most common could be your dough, pizza dough is cold or didn't rest properly. So it's a bit too small. So you need to give a longer time before you're stretching because otherwise when it's not ready it's become very elastic it comes back another reason could be uh, the flour you use a very high gluten flour which is very elastic sometimes tends to go back a little bit but it shouldn't go back that much or your pizza is over spinning your mixer too much so if you over spinning longer than the time should be the pizza is gonna be very elastic and it's gonna bounce back all the time and uh, so make sure the, the pizza when you make your balls you basically have to double it if it's still small the chance to bounce back is is can happen and also the pizza if it doesn't look good to it so i'll give you a little trick as well shows you normally when it's ready they normally they touch as you can see here they normally start to touching together so that's a good sign to the your pizza it should be ready also leave a room temperature so even now uh, it's still cold but the the door is quite easy to to use it so if it's too small just leave a bit longer before you stretch it because otherwise it's gonna bubble it's not ready it's gonna be chew inside it's gonna be horrible so now I use this flower which is W300 normally in the summer I use 350 so now because this winter coming I use the flour less a little bit less in gluten so this is W300 and I show you the stretching so when I stretch because it's a little bit high in gluten but yes guys you're right what you like I'm watching Watching it. All right, <laughs> so I shows you now I'm stretching the pizza. Bounce back, but just a little bit because it's got again gluten. But it should have comes back too much, otherwise, the pizza is very small. So you need to give a more rest or don't try to avoid to spinning too much in your pizza on your mixer. And now we're gonna bake it, just, um, just a margarita to see. So I stretch it, the pizza stay just like that. Maybe bounce back millimeter, but that's it. It shouldn't be strings too much, okay? And now we see when we cook it as well. So there is a couple of things you have to be very careful. And make sure before using, if you take from the fridge, leave outside for one, two hour before baking. Because if the pizza is cold, so you need to get a bit more a room temperature, you know? There we go, stretch it. The pizza stay where I, I left it. Okay, thanks. Stick a margarita. Okay, we leave it cooking slowly. We got some customer guys, but we're gonna show you the pizzas cook nice, the crust nicely, and uh, two bees on back in in filming. This is how you see the crust. You know, you see the top it's growing nicely. You know, there's no bubble. So there's a few questions. So flour mostly common. Is that you need to raise be longer the, the pizza before you bake it. If it's too small, wait. Leave it outside let it rest much more so you have to pretty much double it when you've done it otherwise it's gonna bounce back and your pizza honestly it, it shouldn't it shouldn't eat your pizza because it's quite heavy it's chew inside and uh, there you go look at that okay look this pizza now look across he got the perfect time fermented See the cross, airy, light, no chew inside, because otherwise this, it's not going to be eatable. So you have to wait, if it's too small, wait, use the right flour, 
I give enough rest for your pizza. I don't over mix it on your mixer, or if you need it by hand, you shouldn't get that long. Guys, hope you like this kind of tips for you. So I want to respond to a couple of subscribers. Leave a comment below for other questions. We will reply to you. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. We have to bake in pizza for the customer now.